I'm all right. Hold on. I'll look at you, okay? You're all right? Yeah. 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 Just a good looking guy behind me. I'll just take a turn of the phone. Hang on a sec. Can we let a camera in here, please? Sorry, please. Tell me when you're ready to go, guys. Yep, rolling. Yeah, so, Dave, can you guarantee there are no slush funds with the CFMEU? Well, I don't think uh, there are any slush funds. What we've got is a situation where uh, the union is the only organisation which sticks up for workers' safety on site. The union is the only organisation that goes out and wins wages and conditions for workers. We understand some employers don't like that and want to go back to Tony Abbott's work choices. And uh, the first witness today is a prime uh, example of that. Uh, Mr Smith. Uh, used Australian workplace agreements, individual contracts, compulsory individual contracts. He's a supporter of work choices and uh, there's nothing surprising that Tony Abbott's Royal Commission uh, will be uh, calling people who support Tony Abbott's work choices. So will the Royal Commission uncover misbehaviour by the union in Queensland? I'm sorry, I didn't get that question. Is, is this Royal Commission going to uncover illegal behaviour or misbehaviour on the part of unions in Queensland? What this Royal Commission will uncover is that the CFMEU is a strong and effective union uh, that acts in the interests of its members and that uh, we make no apology for being a union that stands up for safety on site, that stands up for workers' wages and conditions. But does the CFMEU demand kickbacks and payments in order for corruption? Absolutely not, um, and none of the evidence that's been put supports that. Uh, what, we, uh, what we do have is a situation where the, uh, the BERT fund will be examined in this commission. That is a fund uh, which is uh, comprised of unions and employers on the board, including the Master Builders Association, and the funding uh, which comes from BERT supports important things like apprenticeships in the construction industry, like getting injured workers back to work. They're the sort of things that should be applauded uh, in Australian public life, not attacked for, for cheap political reasons uh, by people like Tony Abbott, who only wants to return to work choices. No sweetheart deals with building companies like Lendlease. Can you, can you, can you rule that out? Sorry, what do you no, want to No sweetheart deals with uh, building companies to have industrial peace on the well, building the side. The position is quite simple. We, we certainly support industrial peace, but workers have a right to bargain. Workers have a right to join a union and be represented by a union. And if we're unable to reach terms for an agreement, the law supports the fact that legally protected industrial action can be taken. Now, you know, um, there are lots of uh, uh, glib, uh, you know, sorts of words get thrown around like uh, sweetheart deals. We don't have sweetheart deals with any employers. We have robust, honest exchanges with employers and uh, the fact that uh, uh, Mr Abbott and his, uh, his henchmen at the Australian Building Construction Commission are trying to dirty up the union is just an excuse to go back to work choices. That's where Abbott wants to go, that's where big business wants to take him and that's what this Royal Commission is all about. We make no apology for standing up for safety on site. We make no apology for holding unscrupulous employers who underpay workers to account. When we recover money for workers, it goes back to the workers. It doesn't go into anyone else's pocket, unlike some unions we've seen uh, in uh, Sydney last week. So I think we'll see a range of whistleblowers. We saw a whistleblower last week fall spectacularly flat on her face. Uh, So-called whistleblowers in this commission are mostly self-interested people who've got an agenda to peddle. And, uh, We've got no agenda, agenda to peddle other than this. Workers' rights, safety on site, wages and conditions. That's what our union's about, and that's what we'll be standing up for in this commission and outside of it. But how will you react if your union is found to be corrupt? Our union is not corrupt. But how will you, no... how will you react, if, react if the Royal Commission well, how, finds how, otherwise? How, how would you react? How would you react if you were found to be corrupt? I mean, that's just a ludicrous question. Why? Um, because no evidence has been put forward of that. Uh, there is no credible evidence, and that is because our union is a union which stands up proudly for its members' rights, safety and conditions. And no amount of cheap shots uh, from uh, anybody can change that. And uh, as far as this morning's Courier-Mail uh, headline is concerned, um, it is of course a beat-up, but look, I'd like to thank the Courier-Mail and the Murdoch Press. Uh, we've been uh, receiving a lot of calls from construction workers this morning supporting the union. And we've actually received a number of uh, calls from people who want to join the union because they see uh, that, the, uh, that the front page of the Courier Mail is the best, uh, best advertisement for uh, strong, effective trade unionism that we could get. So thanks very much. Thank you.